Okay, and welcome to another tutorial. This time we're doing the Lion Kings in the Jungle. Okay, so only two chords this time, and they are G, C, G, C. Okay, so another four bar pattern that we repeat over and over again. Okay, let's have a look at the chords. Again, just in case you forgot, remember a chord diagram is just a picture of this part of the guitar put straight back onto a page so that you can read and know where to put your fingers when your teacher is not around or when your teacher is busy. Okay, remember the G chord, we're only using four strings of the G chord, so it's important you don't play the top two strings which are the lowest sounding strings. With the C chord, Again, we're only using three, so you will not play the lowest three strings, which sound like this. So don't play those. So essentially, we're only using this part of the guitar for this song, which gives it a really light treble feel. Now, before we get to playing the song, we're going to use a pick today. So I want to show you how to hold a pick first. So what you do is you get, if you're uh, right-handed, you hold the pick in your left hand, with the pointy bit in between your thumb and index finger. Then you get your thumb and put it on uh, the edge of the pick, but still with a bit of grip there so that you can grip it when you play. And then you use the side of your index finger to lock it in on the other side. So the pointy bit is coming directly out. Okay. And it feels really uncomfortable at the start, but once you get used to it, you'll find that you create a really good sound and the pick will never come loose. Okay, so in the jungle, we only need one finger for each chord. This finger is on the one, two, three, the third fret on the first string. So we go one, two, three. Make sure you're using this finger. It's very, very important that you use this finger. Okay, now we're only playing four strings, so which will look like this. Four strings. Okay, it's really important that you find the four string and play the four string. Okay, of course, you're going to play down where the sound hole is and not up where your left hand is. Okay, second chord is really easy to rotate. That's why I put this chord, this song in, because it's a really good one to get started and it's a fun tune. So, what you do once you've got the G chord is you find the second string this time and it's the first fret, so that's this fret here. So you use this finger, which is your first finger or index finger, you put it there, make sure you're not squashing the finger under the string underneath. You can see that the finger, that I'm actually squashing this, this string here, which I don't want to do. I want to make sure I've got my thumb looking like that on the back, that really helps. And make sure you've got uh, a little bit of gap underneath your finger so that all the fingers ring out. Okay. So, here we go, in the jungle. Okay, let's do it a little bit slower for you, okay? So, G, C, G, C. So you can do it slower if you want. Now let's try and sing over the top. One, two, three, four. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Ooh -wee, ooh -wee, ooh -wee, ooh -wee, boom, boom, See, back to G. Ooh A whim, 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 and so on. Okay, so that's a really easy one that you can rotate. It will take a bit of practice to get started. It won't sound awesome straight away, but it's one where you can don't have to use too many fingers. And maybe you can even go online and find a backing track that you can play along too. So good luck. 